Welcome to Proven and Probable. I'm Maurice Jackson. Joining us for a conversation is Derek McPherson of Gold 79 Mines. Ms. McPherson, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me again, Maurice. Well, great to have you on the program, sir, to find out the latest exciting developments coming from Gold 79 Mines. Before we delve into company specifics, sir, for first time listeners, please introduce us to Gold 79 Mines. Yeah, so Gold 79 Mines is a Southwest US uh, Junior Gold Explorer. Um, all have three projects in the Walker Lane trend. Um, all three of them have the have 100 plus historic drill holes with economic grades in them. Our focus has been on the Gold Train uh, project in Arizona, where we think we have the potential for uh, a multi-million ounce uh, resource. Well, let's get everyone up to speed on what your company has been up to since we last spoke. Can you provide us with a corporate update? Yeah, since we last spoke, we uh, we just put out the our, our exploration target. Um, and what we want to do with that exploration target is highlight to people how big we thought uh, the resource could be at Gold Chain. Um, and, you know, that exploration target points to one to two million ounces of one and a half to two and a half grams a ton. Um, and so that's big potential in a, in, in a small market cap in the five million dollars that is uh, uh, Gold 79. And so what we've been doing over the last uh, last few months is trying to get ourselves ready to, to execute on a drill program. So we recently updated our permitting um, and our, our project in 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 Arizona, um, and basically we're ready to go. Um, and now with the gold with with the gold market starting to run, we're going to looking to raise a little bit of money and get back to work on the ground. Well, speaking of raising capital, I see that you just announced uh, today a capital raise. Can you sh- can you share some of the terms of the raise and how your team will deploy the capital from the raise? Yeah, so we're raising. We've announced a, a raise of one million dollars. Um, the raise is on a, a, a is at twenty five cents on a post consolidated basis, uh, with a half warrant at thirty cents. Um, as part in in conjunction with the raise, we're doing a ten for one share consolidation um, to to tighten up the share structure a little bit. With that money, um, the the use of proceeds is, is sort of twofold as uh, from an exploration work perspective. The first is to do an extensive trenching program at the Tyro main zone. Uh, our, my VPX Rob, our VPX Rob has laid out uh, a thousand meter trenching program. It's a pretty low cost way for us to get a lot of data. Also give us some good news flow coming into the summer. The second uh, the second key use of proceeds is, is a drilling program at Gold Chain. Um, we're gonna go back and, and, and follow up on some of the success that we had in, in 2023. Remember we drilled uh, nine meters at 51 grams uh, in, in the last hole of the program, uh, but also hit 44 meters at two grams in the Tyro main zone. So two very good intercepts in and of themselves. Our plan is to go follow up those drill holes, uh, a couple of holes in the Tyro main zone, a couple of holes into that high grade area, which is which is very exciting and see if we can prove that, that has, what kind of scale that has. Uh, we're gonna drill some deeper holes, uh, demonstrate that this the system uh, goes to depth, and we're gonna drill some big step out holes, plus one kilometer uh, um, step out uh, holes to prove that this is just beyond that, that initial one to two million ounce exploration target and how big this could actually be. Now, just for clarification, this we're looking at an open pit operation here potentially and these grades are remarkable at early stages that you're in yeah i think that that's a that's a that's a that's a great point where it's, it's you know we're look, we're talking about potentially you know a two gram open pit um at surface on patent claims in arizona um for reference there is an operating mine to the south of us that operates at point four and so you know five times a grade is uh is a uh, um it is what we're looking at and i think that's a great opportunity do you have any updates to share with us regarding permitting on jefferson canyon yeah, that's a that, that's a good point. We continue to be working uh, with Kinross to permit that project to, for drilling, um, based on what we've seen to date, and, and and in line with our update in December, we expect Kinross to be able to drill that program this year um, as, as things continue to move forward uh, with the Forest Service uh, on the permitting process. And just as a reminder, can you just give a brief synopsis with the relationship with Kinross? So yeah, Kinross is uh, a shareholder of Gold 79 Mines. They own 9.9% on a partially diluted basis or 5.2% on a basic basis. Uh, they took that position as part of our option agreement on Jefferson Canyon. Um, if you remember, Jefferson Canyon is only seven kilometers from Round Mountain Mine. Round Mountain's a 20 million ounce uh, deposit produced and and and, and remaining. Um, they produce about 300,000 ounces a year there. Um, and so there's obvious synergies between the two projects. Um, we did an option agreement with them. Um, they have to put some, you know, as part of that program, they have to make some payments. Um, they spend about $600,000 in exploration. Um, if they want to gain an interest in the project, uh, they have to pay us $5 million US uh, for 70% and another uh, $5 million US to get to uh, 80%. And so, um, you know, I think having them drilling starts to make, having them get, get starting to drill makes those, uh, makes that uh, very possible. Now, before we close, what did I forget to ask? 
Well, I think uh, with respect to, um, you know, I think one of the things that, you know, put my, my analyst hat back on for a second um, from, from, my, from my past life, um, we're starting to get into a gold market where good news matters again. Um, I, I think that, you know, what we have seen over the last few years is, is that, you know, unless it was spectacular news, it wouldn't, really wouldn't move a stock. Um, and now we're getting back to with, with the gold price moving, um, that the good results and good numbers uh, are going to make share prices go up. Um, and I think that, you know, what's key for us at Gold79 is getting the money in the door so that we can go and put out some of that good news because we know we can deliver on the good news, the good news aspect of it. Sir, if somebody wants to learn more about Gold79 Mines or wants to participate in the financing, can you share your website, your phone number, and email address? Yeah, you can reach us. Uh, our website is gold79mines.com. My email address is dm at gold79mines.com. And you can reach me at 416-294-6713 anytime you Say that number one more time, slower for sir. 416-294-6713. Ms. McPherson, it's been a pleasure speaking with you today. Wishing you and Gold 79 Mines the absolute best, sir. Thank you very much for having me again. The information presented on Proven and Probable is provided for educational and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information is not intended to be and does not constitute financial, investment, or trading advice, or any other advice. You should not make any financial, investment, or trading decision based on any of the information presented without first undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or competent financial advisor.